How to use whiteboard on ClickUp. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to use whiteboard on ClickUp. Now let's get started. Now here we are once again in ClickUp.com and today we're going to tackle on how to create and how to use a dashboard in ClickUp. The first thing we're going to do is to go over here on the left side and click the icon task. This will redirect us to this page over here. Now, as you can see, this will redirect us to this page where we can see all the tasks that is present in this specific space that we are looking at right now. Now, to create a whiteboard, you're going to look at the top button over here. As you can see, there's a whiteboard option over here, but usually you cannot find it on this area. The usual way to create a whiteboard is by clicking the plus view button right next to it. Now the plus view button allows you to create multiple things like grant, timeline, learn, table, mind map, workload, activity, and map. And not just the whiteboard that we are going to create right now. Now the whiteboard is over here and then we're going to click this. And then, and then we're going to click on add view. Over here, we can see that there are many templates that we can use for ourselves. But right now, we're going to create our own by clicking this button on the bottom right called Start from Scratch. Now, over here, this blank canvas that we are seeing right now is where we will be working on. By holding click, we can see this blue box over here, which will allow us to select multiple elements at the same time. By clicking this button over here, we could change this to grab mode where we can drag our dashboard and move it around without affecting the other elements. You can familiarize yourself with the shortcuts by going here on the right side and then clicking this I button. This will display the different shortcuts that you can use. Now, aside from this cursor button, we can see that we have multiple tools in our toolbox. We have a ClickUp cards, we have drawing, we have shapes, we have notes, we have text, we have connections, we have connectors, we have mind map, we have templates, we have website cards, and we have image upload. The first thing we're going to look at are the shapes. By clicking this button over here, we can see the different shape options that we have. The first option is a square. The second option is a diamond shape. The third option is a circle. And the fourth option is a triangle. The last option is also a four-sided shape. Now to place a shape, you're simply going to click the shape that you want to add. Right now, we're going to add a square. And then we're going to click on our canvas. Clicking the canvas allows us to drop the shape that we want to place. You can add multiple shapes by clicking this once again and then we're going to click another shape. Then we're going to click on the can canvas once again. Let's add one more which is a circle. We're going to sit here. We can customize the specific shapes by clicking on them and then we can see multiple options on the top. We could change the color based on these palettes. We can change this color to color red. We can change the diamond shape to color blue. Then we can change this circle to color gray, to color purple. You can rearrange the shapes by clicking on them and then dragging it around, like what we're doing right here. You can add text to them by clicking on the center and then typing the name you want to assign to the shape. For example, here we're going to type in donut. We, as you can see here, we are able to see the text that we have just typed. We can also change the shape once again by clicking this over here where we can convert the shape to other types of elements. Like for example, this one, we can change it to a note, we could change it to task, and then we can change it to other shapes. 
we can also click this button and we can, and then we will be able to convert the shape into a task now by clicking the three dots button here we are then given an option to copy it we can also duplicate it bring it forward bring it to the front send it backward or send it to the back you can also see here on the button that we can delete this by clicking this delete button now we can create flowcharts using these shapes by simply clicking on this button and then we're gonna click the plus button on the difference on the four sides of our shape like what I am doing right now now we can change the direction of the arrows by simply clicking the connector over here you can add a connector by clicking the shape that you want and then dragging it to the to another shape we can then edit the settings of the lines that we have just created like we could change the color we could change it to color yellow we could change the connection type to elbow or fur a straight right now let's try to use elbow we could also add a text and then the same thing we saw earlier where we can do different commands and delete it also now another thing we can do is to create a mind map by using the mind map option in the toolbar by clicking this we can add the mind map over here and then we can connect it with another box by clicking addition and we can add text like hello see you and goodbye the text I'm adding is just to show you how to, to add text on the specific elements. So as you can see, there's a line in between them. And then you can drag this and then the line would adjust to wherever the box, to wherever you put the elements in. So put it over here and then we can drag, we could drag this third element and then you can move it anywhere you want and then the line will just follow. Now you could also add a website card by clicking this you can put any website that you want and then this will and then this will add the website in your whiteboard so that you can also access the website through your whiteboard and then you can also add an image by uploading an image that you want to add i'm going to try uploading one now as you can see here we have successfully added an image and uh, we can edit it by clicking the by clicking the white dots over here we can change the okay. cape we can drag it around we can change the location put it elsewhere also you can change the sizes of the different shape by clicking the dot over here and dragging it we can change the, diff the dimensions by making it taller you can make it, it longer it depends on what you need if you want to be able to create your whiteboard much quicker and much easier, I recommend that you familiarize yourself with the shortcuts and then you, of course, use them when, while creating your whiteboard. Now that's the basics to the whiteboards. And that's it guys. Hope you were able to follow my guide. Thanks for watching.